Hey guys, it's Jager262 and welcome back to the channel. First things first, I wanted to say sorry about the lighting in this video. I don't know why, for some reason, my camera's not picking up lights today. But that is not important. I wanted to start with this because I just wanted to say, remember a couple months ago when I was doing this review and everybody was like, this is the best high grade of 2018. And it was like super hyped up. Everybody really loved this kit and it had some great things like these... Psycho Kami plates here was fun. It had almost real gray levels of detail. I mean, it was a great, great kit. But, I'm not a fan. I mean, I really do like this suit. I think it's great. I don't think it's that great. I am doing this review because I want to cover what I thought was the best high grade of 2018. My personal new favorite. One of my favorite mobile suits of all time now. And a kit that I liked way more than this one for one reason. Yes, the Moon Gundam has some great detail. I mean, just look at him standing here. That's why we're starting this video with him. Amazing detail. But I don't build high grades, and I don't know if there's a lot of you like me. I don't build high grades for the detail. I build high grades because they're easy to assemble, they're easy to customize, and they're really great to paint and really good fun. Now, I'm not saying that this is a negative point for the Moon Gundam. I'm just saying that it's very rare that I find a high grade that's not only easy to assemble, but looks great straight out of the box and does it need to be painted and that's why I want to introduce my contender even though it's a little late now we're halfway through 2019 best gunplay 2018 although I would say 2019 because it didn't hit US stores until about January and that is the MSK 008 Deja let me see if I can just yeah that mobile suit right there already won a lot sturdy it took me forever to stand up the moon Gundam which is why I'm not moving him is incredible that's built straight out of the box with just simple panel lining like the video i just did using it i'm gonna get him out of the way now he's not important he's not important anymore just wanted to <laughs> use him as an example this kit is so super simple to assemble and so crazy nice when it comes straight out of the box that i didn't paint it at all just did a simple panel line and look at it it's great the only thing i have to fix up is the gun right here it's a little shitty but it is amazing. And so I didn't know anything about this mobile suit before I started building it. I just love mono eyes and I love the color, which is why I just I elected not to paint it. So just some facts real quick. This mobile suit was joint work between the ground force contingent of the AUG during the Titans Grip War, which is basically what the Earth Federation used to be, and Xeon. For anybody that doesn't know the Zeta Gundam storyline, really fast. The Earth Federation remnants, what's left of it, and Xeon, what's left of that, actually start working together to fight a third faction called the Titans, which is made up of X um, Earth Federation forces and X Xeon aces, who were still really angry about the war, and they radicalized their beliefs around that Xeon needed to be destroyed, and so they started this war of terror, both against Xeon and anybody that, well, collaborated with them, which included, eventually, the Earth Federation. The really is in, it's such a cool series is that it gives us suits like this and this is a technically a federation prototype suit because the federation did not exist at the time it's actually the combined efforts of both the aeug and of the principality of xeon together the person that piloted this mobile suit this is his ace suit is actually amaro ray himself this is technically a gundam it's made with gundarium alloy and the reason it looks like a xeon suit not only because of the xeon influences but as you can recognize this weapon here and how the head looks Amuro Ray felt that the Gelgoog, when Char fought him, was the only non-psycho enhanced suit that could put up with the Gundam's AI computer. And so he created this mobile suit as a super Gelgoog, and it looks just like that. Now, beyond that history, this kit is just really amazing. I'm going to try not to put too much shadows here. Besides this really great weapon here, it does come with four alternate hands, two fists, one open, and then a trigger hand, which I have on this weapon clip in the back, which is used for either one of these weapons. It actually holds the rifle and this pretty easily. And the rifle has some good detail on it. It does need to be painted, and I haven't... Oh, sorry, it's not in the camera. It does have to be painted, like this hose here has to be painted yellow and all that. But really great detail on it. Excuse me. One of the things I wanted to talk about this suit right off is just the way that they did these hoses here if you can see them. They're completely mobile. They're really soft plastic, which is why I didn't panel on them. 
but if you can see in here there's just little ledges up under oh come on there it is just under the armor you can't see them but it's holding these hoses in place and then these are just in by pressure same thing on the head and while at first when i started building it i was like that's not going to work it works surprisingly well so well Hold on, let me see if i can get it. yeah also i just really love the design of this head Articulation's pretty basic for a high grade up, you know, not really 90 degrees, maybe about 45, back a little bit, S double jointed knees, but you're not really going to be able to do much with that when you pose it. Arms actually swing out on a butterfly joint, so you can get them out to about here, back, go all the way up, all the way down, neither shoulder armors actually block it so they're both on little clips this is another this is what i mean this kit was amazing to build because the engineering was so good so there's two joints here one clip for the arm and then one clip separate for this so you can move it up like it's supposed to be but it moves freely with the arm and doesn't impact any articulation at all same thing with these two crazy shoulder pads here nothing and the reason the skirt looks so good is because it's actually Four pieces in the front two here and two here and so it's really hard to move but it allows for some great posing same thing with the chest piece this piece here is also articulated on its own separate ball joint so there's just a lot of different design characteristics and engineering characteristics that went into this mobile suit that actually makes it just a ma or sorry gun that's not the real thing that just makes it amazing to mess around with these two radiator fins on the backpack move individually on ball joints and then these move on their own ball joints independently these are actually really cool these are all single pieces of plastic just pushed into a very thin frame it's hard to center them just right when you build it but the final effect is just amazing and these are weapon clips they don't work for any guns here but the reason they have them is because they're about to release a narrative version of this kit later this year which gives you more upgraded parts and the actual gun that the grunt use, that the grunt uh, mobile suits use for it, excuse me. So in this show, Amro uses it first. This is his ace one. Later, the rest of the AUG forces gets the Deja mobile suit. And so it becomes a grunt unit with the proper rifle. Not this one, but a different one that you can clip on the back. Whew, that was a mouthful. But I cannot handle how much I love this kit I mean it was just absolutely amazing to build and I highly recommend it to anybody this kit went together so easily it's maybe two hours of building has great articulation great detail right out of the box and the engineering things makes it go together like one of the early high grades almost like the Goog it's that easy just simple parts sub assemblies but it creates one of the most articulated kits in terms, I mean, it has the same amount of articulation as the Moon Gundam, which is why he was out here. And look how simple it looks, and look how good it looks. I want another one of these to paint. Absolutely amazing. I really hope you guys will pick one up yourself. I love this mobile suit so much. If you want to see more videos of my Gunplus stuff, please subscribe to the channel. Give it a like if you like this mobile suit. I will be making more of these. This one was so rushed because I haven't made a Gunpla video in a very long time and I wanted to get it out to you guys as soon as possible before I forgot about this suit, just like I forgot about the at guy. So I will probably do another re-review and upload a longer video explaining the finer points of this articulation. But for now, this is going to be it on the Deja. And thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate the support from you guys. Tell me if you like this kit. Tell me if you want to pick it up. Tell me what your favorite high grade of 2018, 2019 is, or what it will be, what your most anticipated mobile suit is in the comment section below. I love interacting with you guys. And as always, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching these videos, and I will see you next time.